self-employment. This is the most widespread delusion I see about work around me today. Benjamin Waterhouse is a historian at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. He is a deft chronicler of executive class escapades, and he tells the history of this clever maneuver in his new book, One Day I'll Work for Myself, The Dream and Delusion that Conquered America and Conquered It Has, man. Rise of neoliberal policymaking in the U.S. has channeled the conservative work ethic to a new direction. It's channeled it in the direction of the entrepreneurial work ethic. It's the idealization of self-employment and the self-actualizing job creator as a model for the workforce to emulate. Right? It's a good model for perhaps 5% of people to emulate. 95% of people are better off having a boss. So I worked for myself for a long time when I was a blogger and writer and just all around bon vivant personality. But uh, when I, I took a job in 2012, it was a relief, right? Because I didn't have to think about work when I wasn't at work. I could just go to work and I could do the things that were asked of me and I got a guaranteed paycheck and the benefits that go with that. And I didn't have to think about work when I wasn't on the job and I didn't have to think about you know making new ideas, new strategies. I just didn't have to worry. I just showed up, did my job, got a, got a paycheck. So but for most people, most of the time, you want to be an employee. The easiest way to make money is to go work for someone, right? Not taking seminars on how to make money online.